and facilitate my return. NRM General Miguna Miguna's journey has not lacked a new twist every other day. Attempts to deport him a second time on the day he returned to Kenya, born of roots, as he declined boarding the Dubai-bound plane, insisting he had no travel documents. What followed was a 72-hour detention in a small toilet at the airport as the immigration officials contemplated between expelling the fiery lawyer or producing him in court, yet he had not presented his travel documents. Being banished from his home. Thursday morning, Kenyans woke up to the news of his deportation, sparking debates of how it was made a success with claims of sedation arising. <laughs> Upon arrival in Canada, Miguna declined boarding the London-bound plane and subsequently had no travel documents. Miguna's submission of his travel documents to facilitate his travel back to Canada is however said to have been precipitated by a 48-hour ultimatum or else face a jail sentence. <laughs> Despite Miguna initially insisting that he had no passport, it has now emerged that one of his lawyers may have hidden his passport out of the fear that his client will be turned into a tourist and as such will not participate in politics. <laughs> the embattled lawyer has however made clear he will return to Kenya after his treatment in Canada, utterances echoed by his lawyer Nelson Harvey. The Kenya Airports Authority, however, contemplates investigating the matter to ascertain how Miguna's documents reached him, as he had initially blamed the immigration officers for the purported loss of the documents. Adam Ochanda for Ebro TV.